Let's talk about me. Let's talk about sex, baby. baby. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about you and me. me. Oh. Let's talk about all, all the, the good things, things and the bad things. things that could be. Let's, Let's talk, talk about Gucci. From Straw Hut Media. <laughs> this is Brandy Glanville on the film. So, how have you been? Did you, did you want a high five just now? <laughs> oh, no, like, I wasn't. I was putting my arm up here. Wait. Wait, your mouth looks different. My mouth looks like different? Like, you can see all your teeth and stuff. Hi. Um, so, my jaw is completely, like, as we know, I have TMJ. But because they pulled two teeth. Yeah, teeth. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ryan just walked in front of our camera oh, anyway. Great. I mean, oh. oh <laughs> because I have to like keep massaging it yeah. every day until I get my implants. Uh -huh. Fucking boring implants that cost more than fucking these implants. Uh -huh. But I have to get it massaged and twerked every day, not twerked. I just can't get over how good you look today. I cannot stop. You literally look like a different person. I am a different person. <laughs> and I did, I was, oh, oh It's my, like you just had your teeth done or something. Yeah, it looks so two different. two years ago. But so here's the thing. I had to have two teeth pulled in the back. Yeah. And in order to get the implants, you have to let them heal for a year. Uh -huh. And now it's in a year, but that's why my jaw, when I clench my teeth, yeah. it goes crooked because yeah. I have nothing to clench back oh. here. So you, you, knew, uh -huh, you know what uh -huh. I mean? So in my sleep, I figured this out. So I became my own practitioner. While you were dreaming? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, made, I was making a mouth guard for myself. And then I took some wax and I put some wax in the back of the mouth guard for my back two teeth that I don't have. Oh. And then so I slept, and when I slept, I could smile. Oh my God. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously. That is so um, smart of me. Yeah. Yeah. But I was also at the dentist yesterday, mm. and I still have some work to do, but it's going to cost me a fortune, but I'm going to do it. Like, dentists I'm are the sorry. worst. Well, the, I mean, I love my dentist, but I, my cosmetic dentist, yeah. I love. Yeah. We're like buddies. But. This hat is really cute too. You want to know who gave me this hat? Who? Kim Richards. <laughs> oh, cute. I only said- Is it Kimo Sabe? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> when you said chemo, it oh, scared me because oh, of no. cancer and stuff. Isn't that yeah, no, people in um, I don't know what the fuck it is. Like, mm. It was like one day she has a jewelry line, the next day she has a hat line. Mm. And now I'm trying to get used to talking straight, which is difficult as well. I can't talk straight either. Oh, I can do anything I mean. straight. No, really? <laughs> so I was on vacation. Sorry, guys. How was Florida? Tell everyone on the video oh, episode. It was amazing. Look, if you, I mean, if you're listening to the audio right now, trust me, go to can YouTube you see the and have a look. Where look I have at the, this. My strings. Oh, God, she looks gorgeous. She's like a Barbie doll, but a Malibu Barbie doll. Oh, oh. oh I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah. I was in a dream. Oh, I was I doing know. a music Shower video. Shower with compliments. She's like a chia pet. You just like give her a little bit, give and her a little right. bit, and she'll just keep growing. Right, yeah. unless I'm mad and the same thing oh, happens, yeah. and then you Or a Tamagotchi, that. yeah. Okay, so what or just happened to me out? This is why I'm late. Well, 15 minutes okay. is considered on time in LA. LA time. Um, But Ryan, there is a fucking person in my parking spot again. They're going to slash your tires if you ask them to move. Well, I'm, not gonna, I'm not towing anyone ever again. That was Ryan, not me. I would never do that. But yeah. I'm going to do it right now. Are you I really? Just oh, no. Oh, you should move your I car. Want, I don't want that karma. Uh -uh. But they did cost me like two days mm. without a car. And I mean, it was mm. like... Yeah. Oh my god! I just. <laughs> but can't... I parked over there. But that's not the end of my story. Okay, come okay, on. Okay, so I have nails on for you. I got my nails done oh. for Thursday. We have a big date on Thursday. With the head of another network. Oh, we won't say who, but I'm just <laughs> oh, saying. Okay, yeah, another one. Yeah. Um, but I put my credit card in. Yeah. And I couldn't get it out. And you're getting more here before Thursday and everything. Oh my god! Yeah. You're like my favorite oh my Barbie god. doll right now. But, you're like, uh, oh, can yeah. you shut? Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, so. I couldn't get the, my card out because how do you do it with nails? I was like, oh. And so there's a really cute girl on a bike going for a real big exercise. And I said, stop. Because <laughs> that's, that's what I was calling stop. you. <laughs> like, hell. I'm like, do you think you, I was really sad. I could do you think my credit card stuck? She goes, oh, that happened to me. You won't, it's uh, hard to get out. I'm like, no, it's because of my nails. And she uh, was like, a granola beautiful. Yeah. And she had no fake anything. Yeah. And so she just went, Ch -ch -ch 
And I was like, do you mind to put it back in and pull it back out? Because I actually have to pay for the parking. Yeah. And then she did that for me too. And then this really nice couple told me my portal to my electric charge thing was open. And oh my I mean, God, you're a bloody mess. so nice. <laughs> oh, I got from it that you were a mess. No, uh, I'm, someone's in my uh, parking spot. <laughs> I would have never had to take out my credit card. This is a lot of stuff. So you basically had the best time in Florida and oh my you God, got so some good. tea and you yeah. and the people sat that, around on yachts. Yeah. I, we did, we tanned, mm. we walked, we drank, I drank, he can't drink. Um, mm. And then the mm. family we were with that want to be adopted, mm. the Warrens, hi guys, I love you. Um, I feel like Sharon's my big sister at this point. Mm. That's the mom of the family. We don't know Sharon. Okay, she's yeah, the mom of she's, the family. I mean, maybe actually my sister. I don't know how old she is, but like. Do an ancestry. She might be. Well, she's not, but I mean, because uh. I'm not rich, but she's way richer than me. <laughs> I don't so think she's, rich is like. Yeah, that's why she's bigger than me because uh, she's rich. Because uh, she's actually smaller and tinier uh, than me. But she's bigger in like wealth. wealth. <laughs> <laughs> how this uh, Okay, so what have you been up to? Well, um, okay, so I didn't go to Florida. Um, what else have I been doing? Born I've been invited. sun tanning a little bit. I've been working on my uh, cough. Just, no, I was sick for a week. A whole and week. It was hell. A lovely friend, an old flame of mine, stopped in last night from Australia. Did you get yeah. your coochie broken? No. Okay, so I'll tell you what happened. We used to do it okay at a we, point. i think we he uh, broke my when heart you said old he flame, broke we my got heart that. he's a really big well-known actor in australia so i won't say names but he's Russell here Crow. right now no <laughs> <laughs> which year russell Hugh Crow? Grant. Is, Hugh, wait, no, Hugh, no, no, no. is it grant Hugh, no Hugh. Jackman. jackman it's not hugh jackman well, okay stop guessing he got a divorce Ah, uh, yeah well Dang. okay anyway no more on that but anyway so he broke my heart once because like we met in you know, number eight, the Is club this in New be a York. Long story. Uh, I don't have any short <laughs> stories. Anyway, we'll make it quick. and it was like a whirlwind romance. We were like together nonstop for like two whole weeks, just doing it and having fun, and mm-hmm. like. And then he came and followed me back to LA, and then I realized he has a wandering eye, and he likes whatever's Is in front of him. Is it wandering or wandering? Wandering. Um, <laughs> Is not it wandering? Wandering. wandering. It's wandering. A, it's where there's a, no, more boys and then a, wandering with anyway boys. <laughs> so he's in a bit of a messy situation at the moment he calls me freaking out last night I then him. he comes over I and he's so dreamy and nice he's so lovely anyway did and you then, cry to him like you like to cry were you whining? no but i felt so in power actually it was such a nice moment because i was like welcome to my lovely place and i'm sober now and oh. uh blah, 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 like so many things and i wasn't fawning him for him like i used to would have been right. and he tried to kiss me on the way out but it went I went for the cheek and he went for the middle and he was trying to stay over, but I got him a hotel next to my house. That ch- what, oh, what, okay, so First of all, why why did you not fuck him? Because it does things to me and then I become obsessed with him and he is great oh. and fun, but guess what? He's always traveling. He's always like, he's Everywhere. just so free loving. Yeah, and he's like, spread, it's too he's much. He literally spreads the love and that's as what he makes spreads him the more cheeks. more attractive because he just doesn't get attached to anything. I love <laughs> it's that. like a moment I love in that. time. It's great yeah. for you. So but anyway, but no. But, so nothing happened. <laughs> No, but he's here for the next three weeks and he's coming over this afternoon. So, so I'm just trying not to blow my head happen in. again. <laughs> Unless I say it will, then it will. I want to show you him. He's so cute. You better pay, take some pop star. Oh, yeah, right? You better do it now. I don't Do think... it now. Do it right. No, 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 no. Okay, so go to Google Images here. Oh, my Have God. I don't think just anyone... Look at him. If, you, if we can't show everyone, which one is okay. he? All Everyone's hot on here. Is it that <laughs> one? <laughs> no, that was an old boyfriend of his. Well, show me which one it is. Eh. Oh, you don't think he's cute? I think he's cute. Uh, yeah, he's he's dashing. Yeah, he I'll give is. him a dash. Anyway, sorry guys. Back yeah, to this. Yeah, exactly. Um, the, that could have been done yeah. on our own time, not on these poor people's. Did time. you see the eclipse the other day? No, because I didn't want to go blind. I stared directly into the sun. It hurt so much. <laughs> And I can still and, see it actually when I close my eyelids. <laughs> when I close my eyelids, I see the little half. Crest. No, because remember, my I already burned my retinas or my whatever they were, so I gotta be careful. It's kind of romantic. How come they can fit into each other like that? Like, are they the same size, the sun and the moon? Yeah. And they just like, well, who made them the exact same size and then they can just cover each other like that? Well, it's the distance. <laughs> it's the distance. <laughs> yeah, they're not like the sun is sounds like a country other. song. The yeah. sun is very <laughs> far and the moon is really close. See, you know, that's oh, why I like so they're Brian not the same size. No, they're just far apart, but they happen to cross far apart. 
Do you know what I mean? And then, whoo, oh my God, for a second they were together. And they look like the same size. Well, they are both round it's and like, large. It's like, I was about to say his name, like the guy I just spoke of and I. Oh we Sometimes God. we cross, but then this we're is, never right, together. This is, we okay, might wait, have to switch sides. I'm, so, I'm not talking to you. This is something I'm that not... I don't care about. It's just like geography. So <laughs> I was thinking the other day, you know, who used to make fun of me of um, for not knowing geography. Do you know where things are on a map? Like, do you? I mean, I don't know. Ask me a question. Like, where is, like, if you, do you know that Guatemala, like, what is that near? What other countries is that near? It's near Colombia. Oh, okay. See, I don't know where anything is on a map. Like, I know there's other joking. countries. I was just I don't even know if it's near Colombia. They just, I just. Well, I wouldn't know, but why do people so care so much that you can pick you? things out on a map? Like, I'm not driving the plane. I don't right. understand no. why people care about geography so much. Like, they were like, oh, I feel bad for you. We need to get you a map, honey. I'm like. But why? I, I know mean, other countries exist. I know what's even in those countries. I don't need to yeah, know where exactly they're placed. It's called war. We no. don't want to know hmm. about war, people. And I'm not driving there. I mean, literally. Right, enough, well, enough. Okay, okay now sorry. we have some other things to do. Um, besides <sighs> you just ranting, you're a rancher okay, today. Okay. Um, guess what I'm doing after this? Going to lunch with Phaedra and Vicky. Wow. <laughs> Buzzkill. Well, like, you knew only, that I like knew. all you're doing is talking. I'm not even getting to talk, and then you just. But I want to hear it. I just had to guess Hello. it because I knew. You ruined my punchline. Oh, let's not fight. <laughs> well, then let me talk sometimes. Okay, tell me who are you going to lunch with. I'm not going to tell you now. Oh, okay, I'll be dying. Phaedra and Vicky, and first oh we're going to go to this Beverly Hills Rejuvenation Center and get rejuvenated, and then we're going to go and we're going to have no wine because those bitches do not really drink, and I can't drink either because I'm on a detox. Yes, you've got your new amazing Dr. Sue. I do have Dr. Sue, and there's a lot that is going to detox yeah. from me. I liked that foot spa thing that you did the other day where all that oh, gunk came out. I can't even look down yeah. at it when it's done, but. It uh, is crazy, but you do feel like lighter when mm. you leave. And that spa is incredible because they only focus mm -hmm. on like your your body. Like they, everyone in there is very fancy. I, I actually have some tea on that. Mm -hmm. A very famous guy was in doing a foot bath and he referred his, you know, someone to come in. And they were saying it because they didn't know he was famous. And I'm like, is it so-and-so? Does he do this? And they were like, oh, yeah. I'm like, I'm going to take a bet that the girl that comes in is real pretty and young. And so I stayed to see. And she was pretty and young. And, and is it, it someone that's dating someone that no one knows it, about? Maybe. Ooh, I love that. But maybe it was his daughter. We don't know. Oh. But I. But then Can't she knew Google me. It? She's like, oh. I, she's like, Brandy, I met you at Hanan's party. I'm oh. like, oh. Fuck. At Hanan's party? No, Hanan, my friend. Oh, okay. I thought we were, I, I thought maybe that was the person that we No, were... Hanan's a girl. Oh. A very pretty girl. Mm. Um. Okay, so right now, James's man is being a baby, and mm -hmm. we're going to take some questions from Instagram, and I think we should just answer all of them, even if we don't like them. Yes. Unless and there's a lawyer situation that we mm -hmm, can't get involved mm -hmm, in. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ryan, tell us what we're answering. Uh, sure. And who it's from, maybe. Sure, I can do that. This Ryan is from anything. Kiki ATB. Hello, Brandy. Have you and Mar Mauricio fucked? <laughs> If no, she wishes. You're lost, darling. Oh wow. Um, James, have you fucked Maurice yet? I would like to. I mean, honestly, we haven't fucked. Um, stay tuned. <laughs> okay, the tattoo princess. Is it better to be a stripper in LA or San Diego? Which is the best club to make the most money? Ooh, I can probably, I mean, like, I can give you an idea. I would say get on that Burbank flight to Vegas and head over to, it's like an hour, go to Vegas. I mean, I would think that LA has the most tourists. People come in, they throw their money around. Like, if you, can you twerk or not? That's, that's a problem too. Mm. What do you think? Um, I don't know, because I don't really go to strip clubs. Maybe San Diego? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, maybe, why? Um, because I just feel like there would be more into strip clubs there. I mean, LA Who's, is- Everyone's like on LA, the strippers are all out on the streets. Just <laughs> you don't need to go into a club. That's We're true. all can, strippers here. Yeah, that's true. You can find us on yeah. Instagram here. Yeah, stripping. Um, no, but like, uh, there's like legitimate strippers that make a lot of money that I love and they smell yeah. like 
roses and honey and but i think you know the vegas ones do, oh yeah they probably because people go there with um a lot vegas, of money. but yeah. i'm saying like if you can if you have a choice mm. live in la jump on the flight to vegas mm -hmm. from burbank i'm oh, always yeah, on the stripper flight that actually makes sense right go still, get your money yeah. for two nights yes come back home and do nothing for the rest of the month yes and because people are saving to go to vegas so they don't necessarily right. have to be rich but they're, gonna, they're, they're also, going there to spend money and they're also winning yeah and yeah. when you win yeah. You make it rain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So basically we're saying Las Vegas, not either San Diego mm -hmm. or LA, but I do know some strippers here that make quite a ton of money. Okay, um, this is from Bayes One. First of all, they say they love you. Ooh, yay, I Second love that. of all, will the girls trip air? And I'm not third, in charge of that. What's your next move? Ooh, well, James is my manager. Um, I can't tell you whether girls trip will air or not because I'm clearly not in charge of that. And there are many, many lawsuits happening at the moment. So I feel like maybe once they get resolved, it will air. But again, not in charge of that. He is in charge of my next move. What is my next move? We can't say right now because everyone, <laughs> <laughs> well, because then it would be the cat out of the bag before it's ready. And there have been signs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there have been signs. You know, if you read between the lines or above our heads, um, you'll see that is the next move. You guys will hear about that soon. One of many. Yes. When people say I can't talk about it right now, it feels like they don't have anything to actually No, promote. it's literally because you can't. I mean, it all relies on doing it all at the right time and having the release come out and also yeah, if you could just start talking about it, it would lose all of the momentum right, for when it actually comes out. Because like, we've heard of you talking about this for six well, months. Well, there is there are two <laughs> shows in the works, but we can't say exactly what they are because then you'll steal the idea yeah. and you'll give it to a different blonde glamazon. And that would suck because then we have to get lawyers. We can't let out all the attention before the shows, okay? Right. The shows need the attention at and, the time. You know, so it all comes out at once. But also sometimes you shoot the shows. Not that this has happened to me yet, but it's, well, it did happen once, a pilot for a show, and then it doesn't come out. Like the mm -hmm. one I did with Jay Hernandez. Jay Hernandez. Your boyfriend. Rodriguez. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, there is a Jay Hernandez. Yeah, and you know what? They did a show together once. They were like Jay versus Jay. Oh and it was my Hernandez God. and I'm, Rodriguez. I'm an asshole. Yeah. Uh, Jay Rodriguez, we did a pilot for a game show. That's we right. were he has really a boyfriend, smart. You know. <laughs> And it didn't come out, and it should have because we were funny. Mm. But so we don't know. Like we know what we're doing, mm. and hopefully, you know, mm. the blogs will shut the fuck up about me. Mm -hmm. And and by the way, I'm going to sue three hundred over three, over three hundred blogs. I'm going to sue them. Three hundred blogs. Mm -hmm. I hate lawyers. You okay, for another one. <laughs> yeah. This is Polo forty five sixty five. Oh, sounds out. Oh uh, no! Oh no! Sorry. Well, I will read theirs. This is just like, they're sorry Bravo fucked you over. Love the podcast. What are your work plans? We already answered that. Yeah. So, Thank I you. stole the TV. How do you manage your interstitial cystitis? Oh, and yeah. Any tips for us? <laughs> sure. That's a, a medical question about my bladder. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, don't have any acid. Don't have tomatoes. Don't have anything with... You know, any salad dressings, don't have any vinegar, um, no alcohol. And then you can get pills like Elmiron, your, like your sick K is actually really great. Um, and then Peridium. But to be honest, when you're stressed, it's so much worse. It's like an ulcer in your bladder. Mm -hmm. So if you can do things not to stress, which I hate when people say that to me, um, it will be better if that makes sense. So good luck with that. It sucks. You'll have it forever. And then they had another thing. Oh. Any regrets regarding how you handled things with your Beverly Hills co-stars in the past? <laughs> we look at each other. Um, I think the only actual regret that I have is the Adrian Maloof thing. Right. Like, really don't give two fucks about anyone else. Yeah. That yeah. sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's that. Can we do a reenactment for a second? Yeah. I, I get to call you a slut pig and you say, at least I do crystal meth in the bathroom. Okay. Ready? Can I cry and... Okay. Right. Oh, okay. I was crying. You're a slut pig. <laughs> at least I don't do crystal meth in the bathroom all night long, bitch. 
And seed. Yeah, it went was way better when it was like just natural and that uh, came naturally, which is kind of fucked up. <laughs> he was uh, in the bathroom for a really long time. That was a pleasure. Time. That was lovely. <laughs> All right, God, a part of history. Thank you. Next question. Danny Pavia wants to know your thoughts on Vanderpump Villa, so he'll need to stick around for the end of this show, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. hold tight. We're gonna talk about that at the end of the sh- show. We're gonna talk about that dumpster fire. Okay. <laughs> which James likes. Being dumpsters. <laughs> Rachel I'm Twiggy a magnet. <laughs> sa- says, hey, Brandy, did you ever find your cute dog Chica made me cry seeing that? <gasps> what? I can't, I can't even talk about it because I'm like an emotional mess because uh, I just got my hormones yesterday. Uh, um, I don't know about this No, story. she's gone. Uh, okay. You didn't watch Housewives? No, not like everything. Smart move. I mean, yeah. honestly, like smart move. Honest, it's turned into... How many, can we ruin your mm. life? You know what I mean? It's just not fun anymore for me. Mm. Although on the commercial for Bravo, there's these two gay guys and they go, oh my God, it's our favorite thing to watch women in cocktail dresses just argue. It. <laughs> it's the best part of my day. You know, I saw this one thing where it was like, huh? wait, so women, you should just get together and fight for free. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Okay. JWXVP, what's your favorite oh. recipes to cook nowadays? Ooh, speaking of recipes, I have one of them. That might be another clue. Recipe for disaster um, is James and I in the kitchen. So stay tuned. Look, James's big fat mouth is open. It's not fat. (laughs) It's a little bit salty because I went out to dinner last night with a man. Oh, you guys went to dinner? Yes. And then you got in my hotel and you didn't have sex? No, because I need to go to bed because I wanted to look good for today, but then I didn't sleep anyway. (laughs) Because you have to be in bed at 6.30. No, it was 10 o'clock and it was very late. Moo Moo was so mad. Oh, poor Moo. John Hernberg, 125. Talk about your thoughts on Trader Season 2. Hmm. Um, So Trader Season 2, did you watch it? No. No. Okay. I hear Did Phaedra it, was the real MVP. Yeah. Well, Phaedra was the MVP. Didn't love it mm. because they gave away too much because like after the like all of the things they would go in and mm. talk to each contestant and say, why do you think that happened? So there was no like mystery around it. Mm. It was just like, well, he did this because of that and he did that because of this. And I felt like it was too informative. I wanted to have like it just like season one. Right. And maybe like not so many annoying people. Mm. Like Peter. Oh, who's Peter? Was it Peter from Peter the Bachelor? Oh, okay, The Bachelor. You only know about Bravo shows. You're so gay. <laughs> and I reluctantly watch Vanderpump Rules these days because it fucking sucks. It really sucks. And yeah. you know what? I watch Naked and Afraid now. And I oh, am afraid. Oh. And it has nothing to do with being naked. But I'm is there a version really you can cute. watch of Naked and Afraid where they don't blow the penises? No. Um, I don't think so. Gotta be friends with someone in a high place for that <laughs> version. But you won't want to, but I'm learning oh. that I would die oh. very easily, like very quickly. Well, yeah, because you get a million bugs in your vagina. and then... Yeah, I would make, <laughs> I would get a banana leaf and make a G-string. Oh, I'm learning a lot, you. yeah. And then you can make shoes. Well, you can get, yeah, the banana leaves. You have to I mean, weave yes. things. But here's the thing. Just dry out this the leaves. This lady got a, like a infestation from some weird bug. And she's partly paralyzed to this day. Oh my they god! They cannot. They need to put some sticky tape on the vagina or something like that. It's just like I, that's I don't think all it was allowed. in her vagina. Oh, okay, sorry. I <laughs> it thought, was just a <laughs> random. We chatted about this the other day that a lot of things can go up there. Yeah, I mean, which, a lot of things can. I mean, go it's like up a coin there. purse at right. this point. So, like, there's a lot of things you can put. I in would them. not honestly be on that show if I was <laughs> circumcised because then you're not protected. <laughs> right. Like, get the little sweater and protect that hole. Oh shit! Because we don't have the sweaters. So, I mean, I would just go and put a bunch of tampons on my vagina. And I would just never sit down. Like, like, you'd have to stand the entire Oh, you're going to stand season. for 21 <laughs> yes. days? You need well, to watch you... it because you're going to die. Well, where the fuck do you see it? There's crabs everywhere. I mean, They're, not crabs, but like They crust. go in different places. There's mm. elephants. There's mm. snakes everywhere. Mm-hmm. They starve to death. Mm. It is so scary. All right. There's All right, snakes sorry. everywhere. And I wondered if sure. anyone ever fell in love on that show is trying to Google it. And I don't know. Or I wonder if they try and have sex, but it's like too no. dirty. They don't have the energy Did you have an answer sex. about Traders? Too? Oh yeah, she I did. did thank you. Like, okay. <laughs> I like it's too informative, too much. Like, you just didn't listen, Ryan. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. F change VV. Please get Trisha Paytas on your podcast and go on hers. Oh. You'll talk for F. Do you all talk after uh, Celebrity Big Brother? So I'm the worst at keeping in touch. We love Trisha. 
We all know that. I love Trisha. We've had her on, haven't we? Yeah, I have we? I mean, we've been doing this for 13 She's years so before fun. every fucking random person in the fucking, fucking world had a podcast. We were here first. We're better than you. Please quit. But Trisha's fun, and she found a way to make money. I, I saw you shaking when you were drinking that. You're excited and caffeinated. Mm -hmm. That, like, by eating on her bed mm -hmm. with the video camera, she made millions. So is that where she started? Because I've heard yeah. interviews with her and I see some of those memes on Instagram, but I didn't really know about yeah. her whole YouTube stardom situation. She had a YouTube channel and she, it was like a webcam and she <sighs> sat on her bed and ate food. I'm What's like, so interesting about that? Guys loved it. She made, she had a yeah. pink like G wagon or something, I think. Okay, I'm going to start doing that because I love well, eating and I, don't I think like people, money. I, mean, I think everyone copied her. Oh, and and now there's a eating. weird thing about food. So like, is there just a whole <laughs> bunch of YouTube channels where people just sit there eating? No, I think it's because she's a pretty girl. Oh, okay. And like, she's like, She's got such a personality, but she did uh, just sit there and eat and tell people to fuck off. I gotta watch these videos now. I am yeah, actually interested. It was interesting. Yeah. But that said, yeah. I don't wanna see anyone else doing it. She but, was the first, she was the last. Yeah. I'm good. Can we get Trisha Paytas on? Yes. Um, oh, everybody start DMing, no, not DMing, adding her or whatever you do to get to her. <laughs> get Push her. Push that button. Yeah, get her. Or I could just text her. Oh, yeah, that would be nice too. But That'd she has good. a baby now, so she might be real busy. She can bring her baby. Oh, I love babies. Um, that would be cute. Okay. But you know, that you can't use food on OnlyFans. You can't use food. Mm -mm. Well, people are probably trying to fuck it. Well, that's I'm, like that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, they're just like leave food out of it. Like, I mean, I mean, there's yeah. a lot of the other things they do on there. They're like they'll get a pillow well, and some black wrap and stuff. No, but they, there's a whole subculture of people that want to see just one person doing things. But like, I'm saying you can objects. have sex, but you can't have sex with food. I feel oh, like yeah. that's a little bit like it's really weird. racist. Well, because <laughs> racist. some people don't have food, so them wasting oh, it, maybe. <laughs> I just made that up. Okay, four more. Checks. People don't have food. That's, yeah. right. that's right. Four more. Have you ever tried Sculptra? What are your thoughts? I probably have, and I would probably say don't do it. Yes, just with all people. my health issues these days. What is it? It's a filler, but I don't know. I think oh, I did it. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, Sculptra oh. is like something that you, but I heard it like it makes you have lumps. I think that when I was in Housewives, a doctor put it in my hands, which are super wrinkly, but I wouldn't do it. Um, okay. James Ford, what, James. what are your dating tips for gays when it comes to monogamy? Because what's mine is mine. Right, so that's very interesting. Um, my dating tips for gays when it comes to monogamy is find someone when you're, when you're 60 because you're, I mean, I don't really believe in monogamy anyway. And in Los Angeles, every gay guy is hot and perfect. And I just don't think it's sustainable. And even in straight hetero marriages these days, I feel like there, there's just too many options, Instagram, all of these apps. You can get pussy or dick wherever you are at any time. And I think mm -hmm. that if you want to be monogamous, you should move just like San Diego. But also that you can just be super choosy and find someone that is going to be monogamous. Now, it is 90% of people aren't these days, especially in the gay world. But right. if you want to wait it out and find someone. But wait it out. I mean, that's the wait part he doesn't want. Mm. But that said, a lot of people start out monogamous and then they get bored mm. with their partner, but they still love them and they want to have an open relationship and then it goes sideways. Generally. I'm with him though. What's mine is mine. Just cheat and don't tell me about it. I want to know. I want to be lulled into the false sense of security. And yeah. you better be good at trying to make me think that you're not cheating. Because right. if I suspect, I am leaving. But I do not want to, <laughs> to I want monogamous or at least you tell want me. To, like you want the dream yeah. in your head yeah. and like ignorance is bliss for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do that, but no, I- No, but if I know about it, I'm just saying, I mean- well, No, but like, let's yeah. say you have an open relationship. You don't want to mm. know details of like, where are you going? What are you doing? Yeah. That would drive me nuts. Just be like, okay, we have an open relationship and we all have Saturdays off. No, I don't want to track them either like that. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, Saturdays no. off. And, and that's it. Oh, yeah. I mean, it would suck if one yeah. person could find someone to fuck and the other person couldn't, but then mm. you but then you use your whole week to set up your Saturday, which kind of steals away from your marriage attention mm. or your partner's attention, like the attention you have for your partner. Who has all the time to go around fucking everyone if you have a job and you're also in a relationship and you're, oh, okay. <laughs> I uh. mean, I have time to do it. I just am not doing it. I mean. Okay. 
Uh, Tan, oh man. Brandy, don't you think you're a Cindy Crawford double? <gasps> Have you ever met her? I love you, Tan, oh man. Like, I feel like that's probably <laughs> my mom. Um, <laughs> she doesn't know how to use. Miss Glanville. Yes. No, I have met Cindy. She's fucking stunning. She's gorgeous. I We've had conversations. She was friends with my ex-boyfriend, Mike. I wish I looked like her, but she did give me one really good point. We were at an event, and I had a really cute purse. And this lady came up and was talking to her and I. And yeah, we were hanging together at the event. Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh, your purse is so cute. And I'm like, oh, thanks. I got it. It's cheap. I got it here. And like, I was like giving this giant explanation about my purse. And Cindy's like, sometimes you just say thank you. Uh, I was like, yeah, that's actually true. <laughs> that's like the more elegant way to be mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. I'm rich. And I'm not going to tell you that this yeah. purse is not rich. Or it, it yeah, was yeah. rich. But like, it's just saying it's elegant. That's thank you. Cute. Yeah, I met her once at this, um, it was Kelly Slater's like launch of his clothing line out in Malibu and the daughter was there too and the husband and they were just the cutest, oh, yeah. Oh my God, did, we're watching Palm Royale. Are you guys watching? Oh my God, it's so oh, good. And oh. guess who, who is an actress in it? Who? Kaya. Oh yeah, yeah, right. And she she's plays really good. Girl. Yeah. And if I, if I could I mean, she's her, so gorgeous. Oh God, I, I mean, she's literally the spitting image of her mother. It's but so she, nuts. She really can act. Yeah. Because I really was like, ah, oh, this girl. Let's I mean, see. I don't think she's amazing, but I think she's possible I for mean, she, sure. She's really, really good with, mm. considering the part they gave her. It's not like they gave yeah. her all of this giant. No, but also to do. she's very young. She can learn. She's she's great. I feel she's like she's good. doing a great job. Yeah. Kaya, we love you. Come to the pod. Final final one. Okay. From Helge Zermer Zermullen. Oh, scary. That's tough. I don't know whether I don't know how to pronounce it. Have people apologized to you after Lisa Shannon's statement in court? I have not received an apology from anyone. Okay, so I had to, I had to watch the show. What's it called? Vanderpump Villa. I'm very excited to chat uh, about it I because it's my theories. favorite show on television Are right now. Are you fucking joking, number one? It is so good. I mean, the people are so obnoxious on it and I love it. Oh my, it, it is literally a dumpster fire. Okay, why? You complete your case. Okay, first I have a theory that it's not actually shot in France. <gasps> oh, conspiracy theory. And the only two people that are French are the chefs. And she shipped everyone else in from probably Instagram and her other establishments. And they could be anywhere. Even the guests that come in are not French. Now, wouldn't they have that somewhere where exactly they filmed it? And then, I don't know, I guess they could get away with it. Do you think? I mean, yeah. Hello. It's, I like it's, the villa, though. It's Bravo. Mm. I don't. It's like... Honestly, it's like they're on Below Deck and Love Island and something else that's stupid. And I just feel like they're being stupid for being stupid. Like they were brought on. They, they think they're doing reality TV. And then Lisa comes in and it's like, oh, darling, we have this is a what is, what is her favorite word on that show? I don't love her on the show because she's way too stale and like it's kind of like Everything she's just presenting staged. it. But the characters in it, like the characters. Eric, the manager, he's horrible. He loves himself. Um, but he's so also, horrible. Did though. you see the episode where so there was that girl having their trans coming out party, yes. right? And he was smacking her on the bum, picking her up drinking shots this like that. This is what like, I'm saying. Literally, like, That's not I was a, like, that, how that, is this allowed? How, how is that a, not a lawsuit? I mean, listen, I love it. It's just in this climate now, you're not allowed to do these things because, like, some people get punished for it and others don't. But he was smacking her on the bum, picking her up, right. taking his clothes off right down to his underwear. He's the manager of the entire- We're talking about the villa? Yeah. yeah we're not talking about- I know about someone on that show. Who? Who? Her name's Priscilla. Pre, I, I don't know, she's- uh, She's from Brazil. Yeah, oh, that's oh, the only okay. one I like. She's oh, really? the only How do you know her? one. Maggie's brother dated her for like six, seven years. I oh, think wow. I like her because I haven't written anything mean about her. So I, She's um, the only normal one that isn't like playing reality person. She's just like, these people are crazy. Oh, is she a chef? No. I don't know. I haven't seen it. Uh, but she's I know a brunette she's waitress. You don't like brunettes. You're not going to like her. I do I like brunettes. Brazilian. I know, but... She doesn't even have an accent, though. I hate Maybe that. Maybe we're not um, talking about the same person. No, we are. Oh. 
I hate yeah. the name um, Villa Rosabella. Okay, at first of all, it's like, isn't it Roosevelt? Isn't that- Roosevelt, yeah. Okay, Roosevelt? Roosevelt? I'm like, Roosevelt was the Roosevelt. president of the United States, right? Roosevelt. Bell. Yeah, Roosevelt. Not- Roosevelt. Roosevelt. I do not like it. No. It's not French. It sounds like a cough that you get, uh, uh, like, if yeah. you, you get Roosevelt. And you need an injection for it, like a Rosabelle uh, vaccine. Rosabelle like, vaccine. It's like a rheumatic fever. Yeah. Um, and then, okay, so the manager's horrible. Oh, God. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We, mm. We're not just going to go off your notes and let you just rant. We are going to have an actual conversation about this. So we, the show itself is on Hulu. It's not a Bravo production. Um, it is definitely a Lisa Vanderpump production. And I just feel like it's so incredibly staged, not like in a good way, incredibly staged in that they they go and they probably cast who's gonna come in to their quote unquote events. So is it like a, like a event space, well, like for did weddings? You see, you've got a girl and a guy that used to date that he cheated on her, right? It's Hannah, the blonde girl with the lips and her That's boyfriend right, are there. That, I like That's that one. great because she actually still wants to be with him a okay, lot. I have a question because I'm going to question some of mm. your statements. Do you really think they're broken up? Yes. No. Okay. No, There's I think she no really wants up. to be with him and she's pretending she doesn't. Um, no, because she's not he cheated she on her. No, well, she says, we're not going to be together. We're right. never going to be together. They went on and then TV. he goes and makes out with someone else on the show. And she's like, oh, well, that oh. or happened. like even when someone was sitting right next to him and she's like, you've got your legs open next to him right yeah. now. And she wasn't, she That's was just because they're a couple. There. They're still together. Like he's a better actor than she is because she can't pretend they're broken up. And he's clearly acting like they're broken up, which they're not. And it's so obvious to me, and I just want to punch uh, them both. Like, not really, but like on the TV. Uh, you really think they're together? Yeah. No, no, broken up. I mean, yeah. 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 They're not. Okay, they're so together. then what do you think of. They're, I want to know what you think next. Okay, so I think that the manager is really. Um, Aggressive? Yeah, very aggressive and very unprofessional, and I don't really love that. I mean, it's good TV, though. I mean, is it I- good TV? Yeah, because they're kind of, they're going against everything that like a regular set. I mean, if they weren't drinking behind the bar and partying with the guests, we would just be watching people serving people well, at a restaurant and it wouldn't really I'm not saying sense. they shouldn't be doing no, that. No, totally. I'm just, I'm just thinking it is kind of a... A cheap rip off of Vanderpump Rules without actual patrons and just people they cast to bring in in a place that's not actually but France. There's been so much drama Ooh, already. Good. That's why I like it. Receipts. Dada. Well, no. there's but been there so much it. drama already. There has been. There's been the girl. Um, t- is her name Tully? Or I don't know anyone's she, name. She just tell me who they look, what they look like. Okay, so she's um the young girl behind the bar. That's she's black and she is. She was crying. Was she one of the episode. party, like the ones that puts the she's party a, together? She's a waitress. Uh, oh, the, the one that cried one. today. Yeah, was yeah, like, she oh, cried. Like yeah. that was that was so a that's moment for TV. That's the second time she's cried um, because of the manager, and she just wants to be liked. So there was that drama between her and the manager well, that the they keep fighting. Well, the manager's a misogynist that definitely who Hugh, Hugh Jackman gave birth to, don't you think? Right. Yeah, he's hot. Yeah. He's hot. He's, um, hot. he's fucking. But, he's overperforming for television. Mm. And you know who I like though as well is the one of the cleaners like she's like a housekeeping one and she's really little and she got oh, makeup put on for the first oh, time and she, and she cried yeah it was so sweet because this little girl she just was like i never usually put makeup on you I can like tell her. she's from like a small yeah. town somewhere it and she's just, actually and not producing herself like she's not doing what everyone else is doing which is way too much well did you see at the end of this episode she yelled at the manager and I she was it. saying you are a piece of shit for being mean about the chef at their like then group he thing even outside. There, blah, 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 too. The guests for me get a little bit too involved. Um, the guests in, are like, barely even on it. No, the guests have been like speaking up. Didn't you see there was this week it's when they watch. were having a bachelor party and the guy um, that was friends with the bachelorette that was there, he would kept trying to bring up a fight that they'd had to try and get- Wasn't that it, though? Like he's not fiance? on the show. No, he's not her fiance. No, 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 that's a gay guy. The fiance oh. was the one that doesn't look so cute. Oh, yeah. And allegedly. he showed up there to the bachelorette That's party and then understand. he brought it up again. That was one valid point. Wait, he made. Really quickly, yeah. the bachelorette party, mm. the way they talked about it before they got there, mm. they felt like they were going to be 
going buck wild with these girls and hooking up with them. But they weren't that fun. No, but yeah. no, it's that like that. You can't do yeah. that. I know they're not you rent can't boys. Do that. They're not literally rent boys. You really can't but, do no, it. No, but oh my god, the word curated. Oh, if I hear the word, the word curated oh one god, more time, Lisa keeps of. saying it. They keep saying it. Everything we're curating the shit out of this. We're everything's curated. We're gonna curate everything. Curate, curate, Try to curate your ratings because they're gonna fucking suck, bitch. Okay, but curating is just another word for drinking. Like, no, do you know what I mean? No, like, we're gonna drink. Actually not. No, I mean for them it is because they're like, oh. did they take a shot and go, yep, we're gonna curate this? Like, oh. I'm like, what? <laughs> you, this doesn't make any sense. And because then Lisa, I will, feel like she says it a lot. On one hand, Lisa will tell them like don't, to be calm down, and be professional, and then she goes, you did so good having those shots and, and she's like, having fun. I don't care yeah. what you do yeah, behind yeah. the scenes as long as the guests are happy. Yeah. I'm like, well, which one is it, bitch? Just fuck the guests if you want to. I mean, it actually helped. You got a bigger tip. I mean, and then yeah, I just. Mm. It reminds me very much of a show she did where she had like a, it was a brief, like it was on mm. for a minute mm -hmm. where she's had like people over to her house for a curated event. And it was like a beautiful mm. thing. And she was supposed to interview them all and she made it about herself and flowers. And it was just like, <laughs> I just, I she's feel like, like- Every part of this event is curated. We have macaroons. We have macaroons. <laughs> I'm like, okay, you have macaroons and some tennis rackets. That is not curating an entire event. I mean, it was, uh, yeah. And then I feel like they shot this all in a week, all of the episodes. Uh, only the only thing that I will say is she was a little rude about that pink crocheted beret that she got oh. from the trans. Oh right, woman. What, what do you say, trans? Yeah, uh -huh. trans woman uh -huh. like made her a pink like a thing for her head, and she's like, I I must I can't have wear missed this. that. Oh my How god, how did you miss that? Uh, well, I was taking notes. What about Marciano? Did you see the cliffhanger of this week? No, he made out. No he kissed. It's not good. He kissed one of the guests. Or How is that not good? They made it, her, her and her boy, like him and his girlfriend, which they are a couple, they signed a thing saying, okay, you're allowed to do this one time and you should throw that there and I'm gonna get jealous here. And it is a fucking joke. It is a joke of a reality show and it should be put on fire. I'd like an um, poll of who's watching <laughs> and who's not and who thinks it's way better than The Valley, for one. Oh. And also it is, it goes... I will it, say The Valley okay, is actually goes better Vanderpump than that. Villa, then Vanderpump Rules, then The Valley. I will say it goes Vanderpump Rules, which is kind of turning... Ew, look at my blue ugly. nails because my jeans See, are... See, he just goes off to another subject. Um, So Vanderpump Rules would be my favorite out of the three. The Valley is not great, but it's way better than whatever is happening not in France. Mm. Like, it's just not in France. And if it's in France, it's in, like, the west of France. Do they even have the west of France? Like, um, I know they have the south of France, which I enjoy. But we're not good at geography. Never mind. But I'm saying it's, like, in a field somewhere where every everything's brought in. They all have to live together. Mm. I just feel like it's just too contrived. Oh, that's the word, contrived. Mm. And you love it. You love contrived. I, I honestly, I wish they had actors in there doing it. Like when actors pretend they're on reality show, like Emma Stone and that guy that she, I forget the guy's name, but he's in a lot of movies. Like they did this fake reality show and it was genius and hilarious. And it is actually how reality shows are. Mm. I think we should do that more. Okay. Did anyone watch it? No. We will see. Emma Stone. What did you think of Vanderpump Rules? Um, what was that happened? I mean, I just saw it on the other day, like, um, nothing really happened at all. Honestly. <laughs> like, um, do you think Ariana is going to leave Vanderpump Rules? You know, she got that hosting gig just recently. So she's hosting F Boy Island now instead. Oh, really? Yeah. Instead of Nikki Glaser? Yeah. Nikki Glaser is doing Lovers and Liars now. Um, but did which Nikki is replace F her with Ariana? No, Ariana has replaced. No, I'm saying, I think Nikki wrote F-Boy Island. Let's double check. Ryan, is Ariana Maddox hosting um, F-Boy Island now or F-Girl Island? No, because Nikki's doing F-Girl Island. I think she's doing F-Boy. Oh, uh, so she probably, because Nikki yeah. wrote these, so she probably yeah. brought Ariana yeah. in to like yeah. swap it out. Because yeah, she, did a, um, she did a cameo, like a guest segment. On Love on, Yeah, and love then now she's Island. hosting. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is, I think it's too soon for her to leave Vanderpump Rules, because like, don't. Well, I, she's not going to leave because she's getting sued. And when you get sued, you need all the income that you can have. Ariana's getting sued? Yeah. Oh. It says that she's 
expanding her portfolio by hosting Love Island USA. Yeah, she's hosting oh, Love Island. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. Love Island, not Fuckboy Island. Oh, sorry. Everything's an island. Well, because she was, I was going to say, she was on okay, Love, Love Island. Island. She I, came on as a guest yeah. host and she was actually better than the host. And right. so um, I thought she did a right, good job. Right, she's pl- replacing Sarah Highland. Ooh, I love Sarah. I love you. I love Sarah on scripted shows. Yeah, scripted. She's a great me? actress. Yeah. She doesn't need to do that shitty no, reality yeah, why TV. Are you doing that? Yeah, go back to your great. Leave it to this reality. Stuff. Crap scum of the earth. Right. <laughs> That's how I feel that we're that of. Like, we just don't matter. We're uh, dismissible. Um, but yeah, no, I don't think she's going to leave just yet. I think that she's, she's going to have to make some cash i mean I'm, obviously she's making cash i mean good for her though that now she gets to host a show because like honestly yeah that's what i wanted to do but that's fine i also had this thing where i put my photo on people guys rate me and there was some funny comments including about my eyebrows but i don't want to talk about we'll it talk now. about it no, in no, the no, morning no. on our morning mini yeah. oh, no because okay. i got i have to go you just you're you were so excited like a hyper child when you came in that you like you exploded, like your head exploded and you weren't making any sense and you were all over the place. So I just had to reel you in because it's my podcast. <laughs> and now I would like to talk about your ratings of your looks tomorrow on our Morning Mini. Okay, tune into Morning Minis. Don't forget to uh, rate the show. Parker was saying we should get everyone to rate the show. Go and Send rate the show. Comments. It's really good for it. Rate. Well, how, how do you you rate it? You just say, I love it? Every way you listen to it. Um, if you're listening you to the audio, go in and do the five stars or whatever stars you will just rate it and then write a Can comment if you want. Can we get separate ratings? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, listen, we want to... <laughs> any rating is good. It One star rating. Even well, Listen, if if you just want to hate on us, we will answer your hate questions and we will be better than you motherfuckers. But we want Woo. a good rating. <laughs> but we want a good rating. And if you give us a good rating, we're really going to talk to you and we're going to read your handle. If you're mean, we're just going to answer your question and yell at you and not say your handle. So be smart. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Happy birthday. Thanks for listening to Brandy Glanville Unfiltered. Download new episodes every week. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And be sure to leave us a rating and review. And while you're at it, check out some of the other great shows available on Straw Hut Media.